to be done. Psalm 12, 1 says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. And this younger generation, I think, is getting accustomed to not having to work very hard for things. There's just too many things being given to them on a silver platter. Especially, you think about the, just the, the minimum wage laws and stuff. That are, I, I don't know what they're like out here, but I know in Arizona they're going up to, I think they're going up to like $15 an hour. Like, and they might be there right now, but it was just like to, to flip burgers or something. It's like, are you kidding me? Well, everyone needs to have a living wage. And this whole concept of just, well, everyone just needs, you, you can't pay someone less than, you just have to pay someone this. No, you don't. No, you pay someone for what they do. Not because they have a position, not just because they have a title. Not because you're employing, I mean, you employ someone to do the most mindless work. You don't have to pay that person the wage of someone else who actually needs to think and, and is reliable and dependable and everything else. You, it's not equal. It shouldn't be equal. But we have a problem with people thinking that they're entitled to it. The faithful fail from among the children of men. It's not a very faithful generation that we have today. Being faithful, Proverbs 10, look at verse number 26. The Bible says, as vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. You got a task to do and you send someone who's, who's a sluggard, someone who's um, not reliable, someone who's lazy. And it's like, it's like smoke to the eyes. Man, you, don't you hate that when you sit around a campfire and the smoke just seems to be blowing your way all the time and you just got the smoke going in your eyes and you can't even enjoy being by the fire? The Bible says that's the way it's like when you send some lazy person to do a task for you. It's just that irritating because they just don't get the job done right or at all because you're sending someone who's lazy, someone who has no character, someone who's never going to be a leader because they're not taking their job seriously and they cannot be relied upon. Proverbs, uh, turn if you would to, um, turn to Genesis 18. Proverbs 25, 13 says, As the cold of snow in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that send him, for he refresheth the soul of his masters. So, and that's, that's obviously a, a great, it's a refreshment. People, when, when you can rely on somebody, and that's the key. When you can rely on someone to get the job done, it's only going to be a matter of time before you want that person elevated to be able to do even more work. And you could have even less involvement with them and let them go and run and do their work. The, that's what's happening with these churches too, especially in these early churches. The Apostle Paul is teaching and training specific people and he taught and he trained Timothy and Titus and then he's telling them, okay, now you need to take what I've taught you and you need to instruct other faithful people so then they could in turn also find other faithful people and instruct them in these churches that were being established that were lacking, they needed pastors, they needed bishops. He's, he's instructing Timothy and Titus to go, go ordain elders of these people. But this is the type of person that you need to have in charge. And he gives the attributes. And like I said, as the weeks progress, we'll be going through different qualities, different attributes that are going to be important in leadership. But I think the number one quality is being faithful. If you, if you cannot be depended upon to do a job, then you will never be promoted to a position of leadership. You have to make sure you're there. And being dependable, it's not just showing up, but how about showing up on time? I'm planning soon on having meetings with some of the men in the church that want to do more. And I'll just throw this out there right now. If anybody's interested in stepping up and doing more things and being more involved in church, I'm going to be looking for people that can, one, be relied upon, that are faithful, that have demonstrated themselves to be faithful, not just in attendance, but getting here, getting here early or getting here on time and making sure that you're willing to help and doing stuff that you've already demonstrated that you want to do these things. Those are going to be the people that I'm looking for to help out in these areas and to, and to continue to progress, um, gaining more and more responsibilities. And, uh, and, and this is the way that the Bible teaches that.